We've seen so far how you can write with symbols or write with text. What we're going to do now is to look at the graphics browser which enables us to add graphics of our own as illustrations or as alternatives to symbols. The graphics browser button is the bottom one here on the create toolbar. If we click on the right we get the graphics browser. By default this will open showing what we call widget pictures. This is a whole set of pictures categorized in different sections and they are available to you to use in addition to the symbols. So we can look at some of these for instance if we look at history here then we've got various historical graphics also we've got things on the ancient Greeks the Anglo-Saxons, the Egyptians so if I click on this folder here it will show me graphics that I've got available for talking about the Egyptians. This little icon here enables me to go back up again so I can go back up to the history folder and then back up again to widget pictures. So I can navigate through and choose pictures that might be useful to me from widget pictures. We've also at the bottom here got two further buttons pictures A and pictures B. Pictures A will take you to where you've got your own personal images and we'll see later how to put some of these images in and use those in the next video. I can have a look what's inside this folder here, more folders inside, I can navigate, I've got some science pictures here, I could find those. If I sort of get lost when I'm navigating I can click back on widget pictures and that will always take me back to the main area of importing graphics from here. Pictures B takes you to an area where you can share pictures with other people. Any pictures in the shared area not only will you be able to see but other users of the computer will be able to see. There's only one in here at the moment. So pictures A are your own pictures, pictures B are your shared pictures and widget pictures are the set of extra graphics that you've got to supplement the symbols that come with the program. I'm going to show you what, how to put in a graphic and some of the things that you can do with this in, in this video. We'll see what's available in transport and I'm going to click on this aeroplane here, the second one. When I click on it, it shows me that it's selected by going red. I can then click in the document and it places that image in the document with the blue drag points ready to shape it. So I can maybe make it a bit bigger. I'm going to put three the same, you'll see why in a moment. If I take a picture here and I accidentally drag it to the wrong shape and I think, oh, I'd like that back how it was, you can do that very simply by double clicking and it goes back to its original shape. So if you pull something out of shape and you want it back to its original shape, just double click on it. If I click on this one, I can in fact tip it upside down by dragging it through itself. So we can change any graphic like that. I can also drag it left to right. So I can change the graphic so that it's back to front. And this is quite useful. Uh, you've not only just got your original graphic, but you can invert a graphic, you can tip it left to right, which are useful extra things to do. When we've finished with the symbol browser, all we have to do to get rid of it is to click on the bottom icon here again and that changes us back so we can now do some writing and we'll see how we can merge putting in graphics and doing writing in the next video. Click again, there's the, uh, the viewer uh, and we can toggle that on and off. So we can see the graphics uh, using the graphic browser but when we went to go back to writing just click on this icon again and we're back to the normal method of writing.